Um, so for this problem, we have h of x equals 5x squared plus 12. And again, what we want to do is find the inverse, all right? So again, just going back through our step process, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to replace the h of x with our y. That's just going to help with our algebra. So we replace with the y, 5x squared plus 12. Then the next step to be able to find the inverse is you swap your x and your y's. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we, we need to use inverse operations to solve for y. So the first inverse operation is I need to undo subtraction by doing subtraction property of equality on both sides. So I get x minus 12 equals 5y squared. Then the next inverse operation I need to undo is going to be multiplication by 5. So I undo multiplication by 5 by dividing by 5 on both sides. Therefore, now I get x minus 12 divided by 5 equals y squared. Now the next operation I need to undo is the squaring operation, right? So to undo squaring, I need to take the square root of both sides. And therefore, I have um, plus or minus the square root of x minus 12 divided by 5 equals y. Last thing we do is we replace this with their inverse function. And I'm just going to swap these around. So I'm rewrite that h inverse of x equals plus or minus the square root of x minus 12 divided by 5. Now I told you guys what we're going to do is rather than just dealing with this inverse, we notice that plus or minus, this is not going to produce an <coughs> inverse function. All right. So to find the inverse function, I'm just going to deal with the positive value. And I'm going to put a constraint now. Because I know that all values of x that are less than 12 are going to now make my root, my radicand, negative. So therefore, I'm going to put a constraint where my x has to be greater than or equal to 12. Because if it is 12, then I get 12 minus 12 is 0. 0 divided by 5 is 0. It's still a positive value. Or it's still going to be part of our function. But any number less than 12 will not make it a function because it will make it negative. But greater than 12 will be positive. And then the next one I'll be able to teach you guys.